In April of this year, in the midst of a worldwide coronavirus pandemic that has killed over 55,000 U.S. citizens and left over 26 million Americans unemployed, U.S. internal medicine physicians were granted a one-year extension to complete their mandatory board recertification exercises created by the American Board of Internal Medicine. Richard Barron, MD, the president and CEO of the American Board of Internal Medicine, or ABIM, acknowledged the pressure of COVID-19 on internal medicine specialists that put their own personal safety at risk, saying they've inspired all of us. Yet the ABIM's inspiration stops short of acknowledging the sacrifice of non-U.S. physicians who were never required to pay for and perform lifelong recertification exercises, yet gave their lives to combat this disease on behalf of their patients. Nor did the ABIM's inspiration lead to an offer to refund fees paid by U.S. physicians who elected to defer their testing until next year and are now facing pay cups from their employers. Instead, Barron said, if we're going to continue to operate as ABIM, fees are not elected for us. We have a business to operate. Our organization, Practicing Physicians of America, has created a GoFundMe page to support seven physicians that have filed three ongoing class action lawsuits against these costly, rent-seeking member boards of the American Board of Medical Specialties, the American Board of Internal Medicine, the American Board of Radiology, and the American Board of Psychiatry and Neurology. Over 1,900 physicians have already contributed nearly $380,000 in support of the $400,000 goal. I would like to encourage all U.S. physicians to help send a powerful message to the American Board of Internal Medicine and all other member boards of the American Board of Medical Specialties by contributing to the Practicing Physician of America GoFundMe page. Repeated forced tribute payments to these manipulative and unaccountable organizations in return for an unproven and potentially harmful product to a physician's ability to care for their patients is not acceptable in the United States, just as it is not acceptable anywhere else in the world.